Okay, so here's the type of items, and then you'll see them, that you will see. You will have evidence-based uh, response. These are your typical multiple choice. It asks you, this passage is mainly about, and you, the students select. The next question will be, what in the tech made you select that question, your answer in the previous question? Technology enhanced. You will see how they use technology in those samples. And then the range of pros, construct and respond, elicit evidence that students understood the tech. These are just the performance phase. You have this on your own. So here's what I want you to do. Uh, with your elbow partner, and I'm going to probably give you five or seven, for five to seven minutes, you have the review sample ELA assessment items from part. These are the prototypes. These are the prototypes. I put one from 10th grade, 7th grade, 6th grade, and 3rd grade. And it shows the different variety of potential items. Look at them and discuss what are your reactions and what does this mean for you and for Jeffco. A sample. Hard. How much time? So they don't know the time yet. They don't know the time yet because they're going to field test it and determine. But doesn't this remind you of the blue book in college? That's the level of rigor. And now they have to do it. Now they have to do it online. And if you notice, this is a reading and writing test. That will generate a reading and writing score. So that's why I'm saying that a kid can read these two, these two articles, but if they can't write, they'll have an issue. Yes? Oh, the question is, how is the score? So most of the tests will be scored by artificial intelligence, a scoring program. Did anybody watch Jeopardy a couple of days when they have Watson? Uh, amazing, Watson. Except when it came to the final question. You saw that, and people are saying behind it, how could it be? Look at that. It was, I don't remember the question, but it was a really stupid response. It didn't make sense. Obviously, this is going to be different because artificial intelligence here, we know what the response, the question will be, and, and the response. So they will be. Artificial intelligence, there will be like 20% that also will be human scoring. So there's always the quality control. That's why they could do it, really. And they've been testing it with great, reli great reliability. The piece of that is that that system will be available to all of us in the field. Because one of the things at the, at the high school and middle school, that if you have a load of 150 students, we're asking you to give problems like this. And you're going to say, how can I grade that? 
So the good thing that once we have this program in place, it could, we teachers can use it to score and then take a couple and see. So because this is what it's going to take. Here's another, another for the same passages. Which of the following sentences best states the important theme about human behavior as described? And then part B, select three pieces of evidence that support the answer to part A. So that's like three of those from the A. So there's no guessing here. So that's how they would do that. Here's another one. What does the word vanity mean in the, these lines from the text? Part B, which word from the lines from the text in part A best helps the reader understand the meaning of vanity? Okay. Now, actually going over that, I wish you could have, that you could have seen it because uh, it's better if you do it, but because they're small. Here's the Amelia Earhart's uh, thing. So, this is, based on the information in the text, this is at seventh grade, seventh grade out, based on the information in the text, biography of Amelia Earhart, write an essay that summarizes and explains the challenges Earhart faced throughout her life. Remember to use textual evidence to support your idea. They're reading that passage on demand. Yes? How many are they going to get? I'm sorry? How many are they going to get? Is it just uh, one per test? So for ELA, for these type of performance phase, two. Two. Two, or two to three. But then they get more questions, like the similar, the type of multiple choice. Okay. And then they go, you have read three texts describing Amelia Earhart. All three include the claim that she was a brave, courageous person. The three texts are, these are the three texts, Consider the argument each author uses to demonstrate Earhart's bravery. Write an essay that analyzes the strength of the argument about her bravery in at least two of the texts. Remember to use textual uh, evidence to support your ideas. So what do you think? This is seventh grade. Can your seventh graders do it? Huh? Loud. Yeah, it will be time. It will be time. They don't know yet how much time. They will find out when they do the pilot and the field test. Yeah. But can your, can your students, your current seventh graders, do it right now? The answer is no. They can't do it right now. Do they have the ability to do it? Yes. So they do have the ability. So they can. So why can't they do it right now? We have not taught them this way. So we have to start little by little doing baby steps. Just giving that. So here's my suggestion. And you'll see, it. hopefully we'll have time, see some of the suggestions that we are doing in LA is at least this year and next year, if quarterly, if quarterly, it will be great if you could do it more often. Teachers assign a couple of tasks like this. Just to get them used to, to get them used to this. Here's a technology enhanced. Below are three claims that one could make based on the article, here are final resting place. Highlight the claim that is supported by the most relevant and sufficient facts within Earhart's final resting place. Click on two facts within the article, makes them go back to the text within two articles that, that best provides the evidence to support the claim selected. So even though they're just highlighting one of these three claims, people can say they're guessing. They're guessing that part, but they have to go to the text and find two facts to support their answer. Here's grade six. In this passage, the author developed a strong character named Mijak. Think about the details the author used to create the character. Um, write an original story to continue where the passage ended. In your story, be sure to use what you have learned about the character as you tell what happened to her next. So you have to understand 
what you have read before to be able to do this. And then goes to this. What does the word regal mean as it's is, as is used in the passage? Which of these phrases from the passage best helps the reader understand uh, the meaning of regal? Yes. No, there are multiple, that's a great game. Uh, the question was, on all multiple choice, is there only, always only one right answer? No. There could be more than one. There could be more than one. That's why they have to go and support it with the next one. Okay? Yes? And change it. So it is based on their thinking and their research, they can change to the right Exactly. Yes. They can go and change their answers. Yeah, absolutely. During the testing time. Yes. During the testing time. They can change anything. No, and it's done. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. They go back and then they say, oh, this, you know. Yes. Okay, so let's go to, okay, uh, again, the C, you see the same tie. Choose one more to describe uh, my check based on the evidence from the test. There's more than one correct response listed above. This is also one of the things that I think is great from the design. That if there's going to be more than one response, they tell you. So the two don't have to be, oh, it's a trick question. There's more than one. However, B, find a sentence in the past with detail that support your response to part A. Click on the sentence and drag and drop it in the, in the box below. And then they do the same thing for part, part C. Here's a sample. So all those that I've given you are the performance base, which they have more time to do this. Now, this is the end of the year, third grade. The end of the year, third grade, some samples. So what is one main idea about how animal lives? Which sentence from the article best supports the answer to part A? Drag the words from the word box into the correct location on the graphic to show the life cycle of the butterfly as described in the how animals live. Very, very different than it's traditional multiple choice. Okay? So now, any any questions on the English language R? Reading right, yes. Students getting all wrong, it will make the passages 
go uh, the readability easier or the problems easier. A park is not. Park is always going to be non-grade level. So they, because of that, they have to track that. So I don't know in the park. Yes. Yes. So, so the question was, what information will we get back just beyond the score? So you're going to really get diagnostic information broken down by the standards in terms of that. That's the, the entire goal.